guys, what's up? It's Trina and I've got a really small book haul for you today because I actually haven't bought very many books in the past few months. I only bought one book in June and I've picked up two this month, but I also have one a giveaway, so I've got four books to show you today. I know it's not very many, but that's okay. I am going to do a separate video for a library haul because I've got quite a few of those and I don't like really super long book hauls because it's just a lot of stuff to get through for me. I don't like editing them. Anyway, here are the books that I've gotten recently. First up, I grabbed a copy of The Archived by Victoria Schwab when I went to the Victoria Schwab book signing in June. I got it signed. That was probably my favorite author meeting experience ever. It was just awesome. So, yes, The Archived. Pick this one up and there goes my hair. This is book number one in her Archived series, which is a YA paranormal series. The world of this book is like very much our world except that once you die your body and like your brain and everything that you've experienced gets put in the archive. But every once in a while one of the bodies of the dead wakes up and they kind of escape into this in-between place. And our main character Mackenzie, she is a keeper and a keeper's job is just to make sure that the dead don't actually cross back into the real world because that's what kind of causes like hauntings and ghosts. And and while she is doing this, she kind of uncovers just like conspiracy that's happening. There just are a lot more dead showing up in the in-between place and she doesn't really know why and then some of them aren't like supposed to be there, like there's no record of them at all. I have already read this book and I will talk more about it in my July wrap up with my thoughts on what was happening here, but I do have a Goodreads review up if you just can't wait. I don't know why you couldn't wait for one of my reviews, it's like they're not that great, but if you really want to see it, you can always check that out on Goodreads. Next I picked up a wildly popular book and that is The Martian by Andy Weir. I didn't even know that this thing existed until like the movie teaser came out and then I kept seeing it everywhere on booktube. All I know about this book is that it is about like a manned mission to Mars and one of the astronauts gets left behind on Mars and this isn't like futuristic I don't think. Like, it's not a colony on Mars or anything. It's like today. If like you got stuck on Mars today. There's nothing up there. He's only got supplies for like a couple of days. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna get rescued? I don't know. Maybe he's gonna uncover something crazy happening on Mars. I don't know. Are there Martians? I have no idea. I'm guessing this refers to him as the Martian, not like aliens. But uh, yeah, that's all I know about it or what I am assuming it is about. But that sounds so interesting to me because I love space movies and space books and when I say love I mean they creep me out so much but sometimes I love that feeling when you're reading that you just like your skin is crawling I've got to read this book soon I'm just gonna go cry <laughs> the next book I've picked up is not really a book I mean it is a book technically but it's not like a book that you read because it's a book you color I apologize for that lameness. This is the Secret Garden Coloring Book by Joanna Basford. I know that these adult coloring books are like all the rage right now, but as an artistic person who doesn't art very often, sometimes I just need an outlet that I don't have to think about creating it all myself. I did get this on Amazon, and I've done a couple of pages so far, and I am posting pictures on my Instagram account, and I probably will also do some type of a video when I get a bunch of pages is done which I don't know when that's gonna be because I've been working on this one like a double page for like a whole week and that's all I have done so yeah we'll we'll see but I did complete the title page and it's so beautiful oh my gosh it's so beautiful look at it look at all them colors oh no I just got lipstick on the back of this book do you see this this lipstick cuz I dropped it onto my mouth whatever. If you are curious about what I am using to color this with, I use gel pens for the first couple of pages. The only problem I've had with them is that it kind of takes them a little bit longer to dry, so sometimes I 
get in a rush and I smear them all over the page. But, and then on this page, I started using colored pencils so that I would not have these smearing problems since it is a huge image. But before I got this book, I had no idea what to use, so I just wanted to say that in case anyone was wanting to pick one up and didn't know what to use. Just pick it up and color, man, just color. I apologize for being weird right there too. I, I don't know what's going on today. And the last book that I've recently acquired is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare in this cover. This cover. Look at it! It's so gorgeous! Look at it! It's so pretty! Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it matches. Yes! These are the new, I believe, UK cover designs. I actually don't own any of the Mortal Instruments series, but when I saw the covers, I was like, that's the one. That's it. You're the one I want to own. And then Elena from Elena Reads Books was doing a giveaway of this first book, and I was like, mine. And somehow I won that giveaway. Woo! So thank you so much, Elena. She also gave me a couple of postcards. So if you haven't seen all of the covers already, this is what they're all going to look like. The first book, City of Bones. Oh, I just hit myself in the eye. City of Ashes, City of Glass, Fallen Angels, Lost Souls, and Heavenly Fire. This artwork is just like gorgeous. Like, can I have an adult coloring book of this? Wow, I can't really stack these properly because you are huge. Did I, I didn't tell you anything about what this book was about. This is book number one in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. This is a world basically about angels and demons and there is a whole slew of other types of supernatural creatures in that world. I kind of consider it to be a YA staple, so if you like YA or if you like urban fantasy or paranormal books at all in any capacity, I would definitely encourage you to check this series out. Okay, so now, here is my little stack of mini hauled books that I have gotten recently. Let's talk about books down below. Let me know if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, or colored this one because you can't really read it. I mean, there's a couple of words in it, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!